<sighs> what is up, guys? Wild High 77, and I'll tell you what, I am excited, beyond excited, to be sitting here right now and playing a game that I have not played since I was a very, very young teenager. Guys, we are taking a first look at a retro game series for Masters of Orion. I have not played this game since I was, like, playing it on a 486SX, you know? Um, like, this is an ancient game, but probably one of the coolest games I ever got into. Uh, beyond, like, my 8-bit Nintendo or Atari 2600 and stuff like that growing up. Like, really one of the first computer games I was exposed to. I actually found a copy of it that works with Windows 10. So, we are doing it. I'm going to tell you right now, I've already set up my classes, my races. I've got five alien races that are in within this huge universe. Uh, I'm playing as the scientific race, the Cylons. Which, uh, they start you out with two scout ships, one colony ship, and your home planet. And we are, I don't even know where we are in the map, so let's take a look. This is our location. All these little stars here are systems that we could possibly colonize, whatever. But remember, there are four other races of beings out here that are also doing the exact same thing. So we got the Darlocks, the uh, Silicoids, the uh, Sacras, the Marchands, and the Humans. So this is going to be interesting but i wanted to go ahead and let's see here start off with uh, uh keep you there i want to sing you there except all right that's one ship on the way uh sing you back i'm going to sing you over here i have a feeling that's going to be a good spot also in this game, you got to remember that there is a planet of Orion, which is protected by uh, oh, uh, Defender. That if you get this, you get this uh, planet one of two, uh, one of three ways. You <laughs> eliminate all the other races in the galaxy. You become the leader of all the races in the galaxy. Basically, the emperor of the of the of the universe. Or you defeat the uh, Defender and actually colonize the planet. So, when we run into them, you'll see. So, okay. Starting off, first move of the game, I've sent out two scout ships to these two stars and a col uh, colony ship over here. Let's see where we go. The turn is going. Alright, so it's going to take about three turns to get to uh, to where we're going. Third turn. I should have my colony ship. Found an art... You could build a new colony. Artifacts, technology points, research, and doubled. Yes, build that planet. That planet is now mine. Year 2302, the Cylons form a new colony. God, look at how like ancient these uh, pictures are. Firm is good enough for me. I'm not renaming the planets. All right. This is a research up oh. scouting reports. The ruins of Firma discovered. The lithium fuel cells range five. Nice. Fuel reserves allow ships to move up to five parsecs away from the colon from a colony colony planet. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we already got that much better, and now we have these guys here. Which is great. But now let's go to Met Metlar. Alright, it's doing good. That's not what I care about. Uh Fleet. No, okay. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, design. That's what it is. <coughs> I 
I need a new colony ship. I gotta remember. I'm working off a of memory here, so you guys gotta remember. Uh, deal with me a second here. There it is. Colony ship. Yeah, that's what it is. I gotta, I gotta put some into. Uh, Got to take down industry a little bit because I need it in. No, damn it. All right, I need that in clean. <coughs> industry is kind of low, but. Lock, thank you. All right, I need tech there. Good. All right, next turn. Uh, let's see here. Scammers adds level one level to the defense against enemy missile attacks. Deep space scanner detects enemy. Yeah, that's the one I'll go with. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Yes, nuclear engines and hyper v hyper five rockets. Good. All right, so we found a jungle planet and a tundra hostile planet. Not great, not great, but that's okay. You'll go over here, check out that planet. And you'll go next to Firma and see what's over there. Now let's take a look at Firma. Right now, it's just working on industry. It's an ocean planet. I never even realized that. All right. Well, I needed to work on another colony ship. And it needs some sort of eco. Oh, shit. Needs a little bit of industry, so come on. Good. Now, oh wait, wasn't there something I could do too? As far as like this is concerned, here, let me see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Except, there we go. That'll help because it'll put some people there to actually start producing on that planet. Uh, improve industrial waste. All right. So we are starting to build our technology. It is really a resource uh, relocation game. Uh, there will be diplomacy when I'm dealing with the other races and of course there will also be uh, combat and conflict uh, it really is a detailed game for as old as it is and, and simplistic and I mean it's got a bunch of spinoffs and we'll take a look at the spinoffs if I can find them I found Master of Orion 1 and 2 uh, if I can find 3 and possibly the newest one um, we'll, we'll run those as well uh, and you'll see the advancement in the game, but even at this basic level when it first came out all all this time ago You're gonna see how it's, it's slow to begin with but you'll see how it really really uh, Gets intricate and detailed in everything you do Oh 
Oh, I could have sent more than four million. I didn't realize Men uh, Mentar had sixty-two million people and growing. <laughs> Apparently. All right, let's see what we find now. Uh, one more uh, turn, and it should get there. I really, really, really need. Found a rich. Ooh, that will be the next planet I go to. I will leave you there so I know which planet I need. Master's Notes. Now that your home planet has a substantial population and industry, you should begin allocating resources towards building missile bases and increasing the planet's defense ratio. Yes, I know. I am well aware of that. Uh, I will lock ship and technology because I like that word is, and we will separate the two for now. And then unlock. There we go. And next turn, Firma should have the population, which will help in production. Oh, Firma does have it now. Okay, so let's take a look at Firma and how it's working. All right, it's got 11 million people. It's going to take forever for that goddamn ship. Uh, but right now, it is the planet that is mostly taking care of. All right. Industry growth, the industry waste redu redu reduction will begin costing an increasingly percentage. All right. Well, that's good. We just got to double check Mentar. Uh, yeah, but both are clean, so we're good to go. And we have our first... Ship showing up. Who is this guy? It is Human Scout. So they are relatively close to us. Scout ships. It's a scout and a scout both heading to the same planet. We get our first space combat, but we get two ships. The humans take off because scout ships are not armed. And we found a Baron hostile, so nobody cares. If, he, if they wanted to take it over, I really wouldn't care. Oh. <laughs> Alright, dude. You're going to go ahead and you're going to head down and take a look at this one. I'm going to keep you where you are. Fuck. Um, I'm almost at population max on this. I'm thinking about separating up the responsibilities here. Uh... Let's lock defense because I want that to happen. Eco needs to be locked. Uh, better. And then here, uh, Eco has to be locked. But I'm thinking for now, get more into. Lock industry. I want it out of the ship. There we go. All right. It's an artifact ocean planet. It should give me a bunch of stuff working here. All right. We had a turn go. Yeah. Keep going. And I want to keep an eye on uh, Mentar because I need another col colony ship. I want that planet that I have a scout hanging by 12 years I'm almost thinking about uh, taking industry out of everything just to make this grow alright cool six turns I should have it six years I should have it Five. 
Oh, we found another rich planet. God damn. All right. So you don't want to grow too fast, but if I could grab these two rich planets. Oh, shit. Who are we meeting now? Oh, we found another scout. Where were they at? Oh, they were checking out my rich planet. I really got to get to that then. I think the farther one that I have my scout at is safe. But if they found that first planet, I got to get that. I really got to get that. I don't even want to move my uh, colony ships. Go or, uh, yeah, good. Good, I got a colony ship. You, sir, are heading to that rich planet. Go. And I got 11 years for this. At population 90, I'm almost thinking... I hate taking out of... I hate taking out of eco, but... Humans are getting a little annoying, and I want that other rich planet. If I got the riches, that'll boost my production and my research so much, which is the reason I'm playing the Cylons. They're, they're, they're scientists. Uh, they're pacifistic, but they're scientists. I could build so much so fast and have so much technology and be well above everybody else when, when the time comes. Did my population boom? <coughs> it really, really did. Oh, I think my ship's there. Hold on. <coughs> it is. Right. Back. Hold on, don't tell me I can't colonize this planet. It's there. Population growth is half. It, it no, it's it, it should I should be able to colonize it. sure what's going on with that all right for now except what we'll, we'll try for the other one I don't know why I can't take that tundra one come on these humans are just hanging out I don't like that I don't like that they're so freaking close, but that's all right. The humans are diplomatic. They'll 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 just want to trade and talk, and they'll they'll definitely look for peace. So I will still. All right, to remain competitive with your enemies, you must not fall behind in technology, race, uh, the technology race, especially in weapons and computer technology. Yes, I know my stuff is being worked on. Burma, hopefully, is really putting some work in. And I got another ship. Good. Good. Then I want Mentar to get back to work. Uh, lock Eco. I want defenses back up. Lock that. Industry and technology. Yeah, I hear it. These fucking people. Hold on a second, guys. Sounds like an old fashioned. Yeah. Maintenance. 
minutes. Doorknob fell off. Sorry, guys. I am a maintenance mechanic for an apartment complex, so let me get stuff set up the way I wanted to get set up here for for everybody. Lock that in a little bit. Separate between that and that. Take from the ship. Thank you. <coughs> and then I want to see. I got technology wondering, eco wondering, industry wondering. Good. Okay. Population is growing very well. Production is very good. Not not as high as I'd like it to be, but it's producing pretty well. All right. Now let's take you and send you. Well, wait. Let's take a good look here. What was here? There was a jungle. You know what? I'm going after the jungle. Oh, God damn it. Take you to the jungle. I'm going to try to at least get to the colonies, and then I'll save and stop this video for now. It'll be a good enough for first look. I will be back later after I handle this emergency call. To play some more. Silent scientists have achieved a planetary breakthrough. Controlled barren environment. Permits the colonization of barren planets. That is what I needed. Yeah, control tundra. Alright, cool. What was this planet here? Tundra, okay. So that's what I need. That's, that's why I'm not colonizing these planets yet. I'll leave my ship there as soon as I'm able to... Wait a minute, what ship... What was this? Uh, cancel. What was this? They're both Tundras. Okay, yeah, so I'll leave that right where it is. Let's, uh, let's try to get the other colony ship to at least that planet there. Planetary reserves, planetary spending ratios may be changed this time. Well, good, 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 good. I'll turn all that shit off because we reached uh, max population, but we're keeping everybody clean. <laughs> we have achieved deep space can scanners. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We also uh, got class two deflector shields, which would be good for our ships and hyper five rockets. Uh, battle computer mark two, class three deflector shields. Ion cannons. Yes, build the colony. This will be my third. My third planet. This is where I really start being able to uh, produce. <sighs> colony name. This will be what it is. Excellent. Master's note, you are now, now that you have developed a weapon better than uh, lasers, you should design a new ship for improved weapons. Well, I will do that, but I will do that. Choose another star, this one. Wait a minute, what am I, what am I? Relocate. Oh, no. Transport. Wrong thing. Uh, we'll send 10 million there. All right, guys. And that is where I'm going to save. Right in here. Wild High 77. That is saved.
That is now saved. Guys, I thank you for che uh, checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it in any capacity, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, share, subscribe. Check out all the other great Let's Plays from Press A Gaming as well as all the great uh, Rumble and Mist podcasts. I will be back probably in an hour to do another look at uh, Masters of Orion here. Uh, but I do have to go take care of that emergency thing. So here on Twitch, if you haven't yet, hit follow if you want to see more. Because it will give you the notification when I am back on. And we will continue right where we left off. Until then, guys, thank you very much. And I will catch you on the next Masters of Orion. Have a good one.